One of the biggest things that holds us back from loving our own bodies is our own beliefs. Core beliefs like I'm not good enough are usually ideas that we've been carrying about ourselves and believing about ourselves since childhood. And they don't change overnight like, oh, that's just a thought, I'm gonna change it right now. If they did, that would be great. But they usually change much more slowly over time with lots of dedication and practice and personal work and self-reflection. I personally have been working on my relationship with my body and the beliefs that I have about my body for over a decade. And I still struggle, like it's still, I still struggle, I have my moments. A lot of moments and I have also made some really huge strides from where I used to be so in this video I'm going to share one of the practices that I found to be particularly effective or influential in my own journey around uh, developing a better relationship with my body and a better belief system around body image and and my self-esteem so give this video a big thumbs up for body image and better self-esteem and keep watching About to share with you. I actually learned and adapted from a book called Calling in the One by Catherine Woodward Thomas. This is an amazing book. If you are looking to clear out any emotional blocks or mental blocks or core beliefs that you believe are standing in the way of having the sex life or the relationship that you really want. So a highly recommended read, especially for any serial singles out there looking to change their status. Anyways, for this exercise, you are going to need some art supplies. So you can pick any art supplies, even if it's just a piece of paper and a pen or pencil that's enough but if you have crayons or markers or pastels or paints or modeling clay I don't know what you have lying around your house but any art supplies that you have or feel inspired to be using right now go get them now in this exercise you're going to be drawing two figures the first one that I'm going to invite you to draw is a figure that depicts all of the false negative beliefs that you have about your body the things about your body that have haunted you and affect the way that you show up in life and in the bedroom and in relationship. This figure that you draw could be an actual human figure or mine is like a little human person, I'll show them to you in, in just a bit, but it could also just be like an abstract sort of feeling about this is what my negative beliefs about my body feel like. Don't worry about your artistic ability in this. You're not being judged. No one is going to see this. Let your emotions lead the way and, and just draw whatever comes out of your out of your hands. It's all, it's all good. When you are finished, give this figure a name. The second figure that I will now invite you to draw is a representation of your true self. Like your soul set on fire. A version of you that is pure and untainted by your expectations or the expectations of others. A version of you that is more powerful and radiant than this false version that you created just before. Use this as an opportunity to see yourself as holding authority over the negative beliefs that usually plague your state of mind about the way that you look, as opposed to the other way around, because usually those negative beliefs control us. See you on top. When you are done, again, please name your figure. That's it, that's all, that's the whole exercise. Although I would recommend if you are comfortable to share these figures with a close friend or family member because being witnessed in our vulnerability and our emotion is incredibly, incredibly powerful and empowering. Here are mine, so woo, this is, I don't know if you guys can see them. So this is my original figure. So this one I called Toad because that's what it's, that's just, that's what her name was. So when I'm feeling not good about myself, I always believe I have like really chubby cheeks cause, cause I kind of do. But, um, so I like have like really chubby cheeks and flat greasy hair that just looks like dull. And then I have like little bumpies. I don't know if anybody else gets those, like those little bumpies on your arms. It has a name, it eludes me right now. But I get like really self-conscious of them. So she's got like crazies on her arms and her boobs are like really saggy. They just look so sad. And I feel like I have no waistline and I'm just like kind of frumpy. And then I've got like these gangly little legs and I have, my teeth are round. I don't know if like, they're not super square. And so they kind of round. And then I don't, when I'm feeling insecure, thinking that I'm unattractive, all I think about is I'm like, my teeth are round and they look weird. And she's saying, love and adore me like just begging for attention like just needing other people's approval needing someone else to to validate who she is who toad is the other one my next one is called sprite 
because she's sprightly and vivacious and alive. Interestingly, like she doesn't actually have a lot of facial features. She's still got a really round face. It's not that my chubby cheeks disappear. And I've got kind of a funny looking like Charlie Brown nose, but just like happy and doesn't care and just like naked and alive and has like energy shooting out of her fingers and her toes and, and the ends of her hair. And, and her boobs are a little bit, a little bit like more up, a little bit. A little bit perkier. I have more of a waistline and I have strong legs. I draw like my, my muscles and she's got stronger legs in there. And she's saying, I love you. I love you. I'm giving out my love. I'm giving out my energy. I'm like, I'm so okay with me that I'm just alive to, to give out and give back and just be like, whoa, feel this. I've got something for you because I've got something for me or I've got me. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it feels like when I see them. And so Sprite, and Toad, those are my two figures, and and that's how I feel about my body. I gave Sprite the the power over Toad to so be like, Toad does not control you. Toad is a figment of my imagination, and Sprite is an energetic representation of my true self. That's what I choose to believe. And beliefs are powerful because beliefs can shape the way that we then feel and behave. Let me know in the comments below how this practice goes for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want some more body love practices, you can try this meditation here or perhaps this exercise here. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. And don't forget to eat, squat, and come.